Welcome to the second part in our Yoga for Triathlete series. This week we're focusing on the muscles that work hard when cycling. Let's begin kneeling, dropping into the breath, noticing the breath coming in and out through the nostrils. Sitting up tall through the centre channel, head over heart, heart over pelvis. Let's come into an ankle stretch, so bring the hands behind you, fingers facing forward, and then see if you can lift your knees slightly. This is a really intense stretch, and if your ankles are very stiff, you will find this very challenging. So only hold it as long as you can, and remember to breathe. Breathe deep, send the breath to where you're feeling the stretch the most. Navel in. Come back up to seated. Bring the ankles, the feet apart. Place a block in the gap so you can sit down and just move aside the fleshy part of the calves. Hero. Here might be enough, or you may need to be sitting on two blocks if your knees are talking to you. See if you can come back with your hands behind you. This is a really intense quad stretch and if your knees, if you're feeling it in your knees, it's too intense, you need to come back up. We'll be doing the longer holds again so that we can really get into the fascia and the connective tissue. And you may find with time that you can come down onto your forearms to intensify the stretch further. That may not be for many months. It does not matter. Keeping the chest open, breathing deep, carefully bring yourself back up to your hands and then come up to seated, come forward, remove the block and stretch each leg out, oh that should feel nice, and then the other leg. Oh yes, half stretch, lovely. Cat and cow, inhale, drop the belly, lift the gaze. Exhale, curling from the tailbone, rounding through the upper back. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. One more round, inhale, arch the back, look up. Exhale, rounding up through the shoulder blades. Back to neutral, move your hands slightly in front of the shoulders, curl the toes, navel in, exhale the hips up and back, our first down dog of the practice. Be very generous with your bend in your knees, this is our first down dog. If you would like, pedal it out, taking your time, feeling the stretch through each hamstring and calf. And then find some stillness. Both heels aiming towards the mat, knees bent as generously as you need. Think about lengthening through the crown, a lovely stretch through the spine. Inhale, come forward to plank, lower the knees. Exhale all the way to the belly. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, bow, navel up and in. Inhale, push back through all fours, curl the, tail, the toes. Exhale the tailbone up. Inhale the right leg up, three-legged dog. Knee to nose on an exhale, forward into plank. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to the right elbow, shoulders over wrists. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, cross the knee to the left elbow. Inhale, three-legged dog. Rotate the hips so the hips are stacked, 
bending that top leg, heel aiming for the buttock, looking under your right armpit. Lovely hip opener. Square and straighten the leg, coming into pigeon, the right knee comes behind the right wrist, left leg extends back, the right foot is flexed to protect the knee. If your buttock is high, then place a block or a cushion underneath. You can stay sitting up or you can fold forward into a sleeping pigeon. Ten lovely deep breaths here. Great stretch for the glutes, the outer right hip. Sometimes you can also feel it on the inner thigh, the right inner thigh. Releasing the muscles that work very hard when you're cycling. navel into the spine, inhale, walk yourself back upright using your hands, place the right hand in line with the right foot, point to your back foot, bend the back knee and see if you can grab hold of your left foot with your left hand. Mermaid, a lovely intense quad stretch here. Carefully release the left leg, bring your hands back, ready for coming into down dog, remove the block if you've got one there. Then roll onto the right buttock and the right leg is still at a right angle. Bring the left leg around and either place the foot over the knee and the left knee may be up really high and you sit up and that's where you're working. Or, if that's not accessible, place the left foot in front of the right leg, staying upright. Once you're able to have the left knee down and you're comfortable, you can then fold forward. This is a very intense stretch in the outer left hip is where you'll be feeling it most, probably. Breathing deep, sending the breath to where you feel it. This pose is called square pose or double pigeon. Be where you are today and be happy with where you are today. Keeping both feet flexed to protect the knees. Navel into the spine. Walk yourself back upright. Swing the top leg around so we're back into our pigeon just momentarily. Curl the back toes, lift the back knee. Bring yourself back into down dog. Pedal it out. Give that right hip a bit of a movement one way and then the other circling that knee come forward to plank exhale all the way down to the belly inhale cobra curl the toes exhale hips up and back down dog inhale the left leg up Exhale, knee to nose in a plank position. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to left elbow. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, crossing over, knee to right elbow, three-legged dog. Good core work. Rotate, so you're stacking the hips. Bend the top leg, heel aiming for the glute. Looking under your left armpit. Lovely hip opener again. 
square and straighten the leg, pigeon on this side, the left knee comes behind the left wrist, right leg extends, flexing that left foot to protect the knee, you can sit up, remain up, or fold forward. If your left buttock is very high, you can place a blocker or a cushion underneath. If you haven't got a cushion or a prop, that is fine. Just be mindful to make sure your hips stay level. Breathing deep here. navel into the spine, bring yourself back up using your hands, mermaid on this side, left hand in line with the left foot, points to the back toes, bend the back knee and see if you can catch your foot with your hand. If you can catch your foot with your hand then pull it in towards your buttock, feel that lovely intense quad stretch. Carefully release, shift onto the left buttock, keeping that front knee at a right angle, swing the top leg around and either you'll have your knee quite high and you're just working on bringing it down or you can have the right leg in front of the left leg, staying sitting upright or you bring the stack the legs Inhale, lengthen and then fold forward into our square leg or double pigeon. Intense hip opener. Both feet flexed to protect the knees. Shoulders away from the ears, give the neck space. Navel in as you rise back up, swing that top leg around, passing back through a pigeon, curling the back toes, lifting the back knee, back up into down dog. Give that left hip a bit of a movement, so circle that knee one way and then the other. Back to down dog, come forward to plank, exhale all the way down to the belly, Inhale, cobra, curl the toes, navel up and in, exhale the hips up and back, down dog. Inhale the right leg up, exhale, step it through between the palms, fold, double the mat if you need to, lower the back knee. Bring your hands to your thigh so you're lifting your upper body. Check that the right knee is above the right angle of ankle and is not going beyond the toes. Here we're having a deep hip flexor stretch, the left hip flexor. So think pulling the right hip back while sinking deeper into that left front of your thigh hip area. Keep the shoulders down, chest open and breathe. Low lunge. Exhale.
bring both the hands inside of the right foot and heel toe the right foot to the edge of the mat. Lift up the toes, roll onto the outer edge of the right foot so the knee is dropping out a little bit. You can stay here. If you want a bit more heat, you can lift the left knee off the mat to work the muscles a bit harder or lower that back knee and come down onto your forearms and think hips coming down and forward. Another wonderful hip opener. Lizard, one of my favorite poses. Breathing deep, sending the breath to where you feel the stretch the most. If you are on your forearms, come back to the hands, come back to the flat foot at the front, lift the back knee, unravel your mat, heel toe your right foot until you're able to lift it back up into a three-legged dog. Come back to down dog, oh, feel that lovely stretch, inhale forward to plank, lower the knees or keep the knees lifted, three tricep dips. Exhale down, inhale up, exhale all the way down now to the belly, inhale cobra, may come a little higher now, curl the toes, hips up and back, down dog. Inhale the left leg up, exhale step it through to our runner's lunge, fold the mat if you need to, extra padding for your knee, lower the back knee, hands to the thigh, the left thigh, rise the body up our low lunge on this side. Just check that the left knee is not going beyond the left ankle and think pull that left hip back while sinking into the front of the right thigh and the hip flexor. Hip flexors get very tight with cycling. Breathe deep here. Bring the hands back to the inside of the left foot, heel toe the left foot to the edge of the mat, raise the left toes and come onto the outer edge of the left foot and you can keep the back knee down or raise the back knee or back knee down and come onto the forearms, sinking the hips further forward and down. You'll know where your body wants to be. And just because you did one thing on one side does not mean it will be the same on the other side. You are exactly where you need to be at this time. Breathe and enjoy the stretch. If you're on your forearms, come back to your hands, lift the back knee, unravel your mat. Heel toe the left foot round until you're at a point that you can bring yourself back to a three-legged dog. Back into down dog. Notice how your down dog feels now. Inhale forward to plank. Exhale all the way. Inhale cobra. Let's push back into child's pose. Hips to the heels forehead to the mat. The forehead may or may not reach the mat. Come back up to tabletop, swing the knees through so we're now in a seated position. Release down to a flat back, shift the hips to the right, 
Drop the knees to the left, arms out to the side, laying spinal twist. Deep belly breaths here. Laying spinal twists are just so good for the body. Send the breath to the lower back. Navel in, recenter the hips, then shimmy the hips over to the left and drop the knees to the right. Gaze can be up or it can be to the left hand. Great for digestion as well. Twists, so good for us. Inhale, bring the knees back up, recenter your hips, extend the legs long as wide as the mat, arms out to the side, palms up, Shavasana. Allow the breathing to return to normal. Allow the heart rate to return to normal. Stay here for as long as time allows. But if you need to get going, bring some movement back into your fingers, toes, wrists and ankles. Stretch up overhead. Roll onto one side. Bring yourself up to a seated position of your choice. Inhale, arms up overhead. Gathering in all that wonderful energy, bring it down to your heart center. Thanking yourself for taking the time to nurture your muscles. Namaste. I hope you have enjoyed this class. Please leave me a comment, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please do click the subscribe button below. Thank you so much for watching.